Helper B got stuck and caused a short circuit. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Today at FarmCon 21, Giant Software announced and showed off lots of new things coming with Farming Simulator 22, including official gameplay from FS22, as well as changes that are made to Giant's Engine 9 and a closer look at production chains and how they're going to work. There was a very in-depth Q&A afterwards as well, so let's take a look at all the top things that happened today. Let's start off with some things that weren't really top stories, but things that I saw during the presentation that were either announced for the first time or some things that were just teased or <laughs> just kind of glanced right over. We finally got a first look at them, starting off with the John Deere 7810 tractor. This is an older tractor from the 90s and is going to give Farming Simulator 22 and John Deere fans a great tractor to start with. Next is the birth out self-propelled sprayer, which was teased at Agritechnica in like 2019, I think. But this is great to actually see in the game. I thought we had lost it. What about an old Massey? Well, we've got you covered with a Massey Ferguson 3670 tractor, which I know is going to make lots of you, myself included, very happy. Farming Simulator 22 is looking to have a great selection of not only new, but classic tractors as well. Speaking of new tractors, how about a Case IH Magnum with a Case IH 475 high-speed tiller? Oh yeah, Giants announced that big brands like Case are not going to only be shown off with just tractors anymore, but also have other implements in the game like disc arrows and things like that. There are probably others, however, this is the only pair that we got to see today. Something else was the 3D tracks on the Case Magnum. This is the second thing that we've seen with tracks from Farming Simulator 22, and they have both had 3D tracks on them, leading me to believe that in the next game, all tracks will be 3D. Of course, this is something that has not been announced. There could also be some 2D tracks in there, but I really hope not. How's about a new combine? Well, it's not really new. It's actually one of the first screenshots that we got from the game a few months ago. This is the New Holland CH770 combine. This is more of a medium sized machine, and one of the biggest things that I actually wanted to see in Farming Simulator. I wanted to see in Farm Sim 19, and it didn't happen. So, Farm Sim 22, here we come. More medium sized combines. We have plenty of small and large farms covered. Time to show some love to the medium-sized farms out there. For those of you that are going to be pre-ordering Farming Simulator 22, there's a special bonus for you guys, the Colossarian Saddle Track Pack. This is for all platforms, so as long as you pre-order the game, you're good to go. This is going to include one vehicle, the Colossarian Saddle Track, and four pieces of equipment, the Coeco Front Unit, Saddle Track Tanker, Saddle Track Semi-Trailer, and the Optiject 800 all from Coeco. They also showed off new trailers from the brand Rudolph, Continental tires on different things, new weights, a brand new silo, and new brand for it, Unia, as well as Horman Cow Sheds. These are the first branded animal sheds ever base game. In addition to these, they also announced that fact sheets will be returning. So that is great news. There were also some other smaller things that were announced that they just kind of glazed over and didn't really th talk about it. But I think these are big things. They just weren't shown off very much. Firstly, gearboxes. There will be automatic and manual gear shifting for Farming Simulator 22 confirmed for those of you that want to use a gearbox. It was mentioned that this is not easy to do, so hopefully is going to be explained more in future videos. The mini map now is a circle instead of a square, and it rotates depending on where you're looking. So on the mini map on the bottom left hand corner, you're always going to be looking kind of up and the map just rotates around you, kind of like in GTA. I actually prefer this 100% to the square one that always points up that we've had for years. The tractors also sound really nice too, but it wasn't really shown off. Just something I noticed along with the trailers lowering and raising. You can hear the hydraulics and the booming of the trailer when it's fully raised and when it fully lowers down to the frame. It's really cool. And the combine headers will automatically tilt and raise or lower depending on the ground height and angle versus the combine itself. Height is controlled the same on all headers, but the tilt is only available on the ones that are available like that in real life. Older combines, things like that, they're not going to have access to this feature. This is all done automatically and cannot be controlled by the player. At least they didn't say that it was. So what about production chains? Well, as we know, they are a way to maximize your profit other than just selling to a sell point in FarmSim 22. You're going to be able to take advantage of these if you want to, or you could bypass them altogether. If you do choose to utilize the production chains, and I think you should, you are in for a treat. They will also cost you per minute of use, keep that in mind, and you can change the output from storing to selling or distributing. This way you can have a factory hold your goods, sell them, or move them automatically to the next stage. You can make things like cake, which is gonna require flour, sugar, milk, eggs, butter, 
and strawberries. All of these products can be taken from other production factories or greenhouses, which will be utilized for things like strawberries, greenhouses that is. And in multiplayer, each farm can have their own production or use the ones on the map that everyone can chip in. But here's the thing, someone has to own the final product because that's who sells it. It's still a little bit confusing, but once we can get some more information on this, that should make it a little easier to understand. They also talked about the ground itself and how it works in Farming Simulator 22. It's very different from any game that we've ever had before and is gonna make doing different things depending on what you do different depending on what you do. If you use a disc arrow, it will only tell up the top layer of soil resulting in less foliage dispersion and the weeds are gonna grow back quicker the upside is you could drive faster with a disc arrow than something like a cultivator. Speaking of, cultivators are standard. They're probably used to them, and they're going to rip up the field a little bit deeper than a disc, but not as much as a plow. You will get medium soil tillage and more foliage dispersion than you would have with a disc arrow. You're also going to have to go slower than disking as well, and weeds will grow back slower than disking, but not as slow as if you were plowing. With plowing, you're gonna get maximum field tillage with the foliage being completely plowed under and it's gonna take weeds the longest to grow back. You will also have to go slower, but it is worth it. One thing they did not talk about was subsoiling. You can also apply double slurry now. So if you have extra slurry when doing a field and want to get rid of it in a useful way, just enable double slurry and you can add not one, but two applications of fertilizer at once. This is gonna be one of the biggest and best features for the new game for those of you that do arable land. Something they did not talk about though was lime or fertilizer. If you could do doubles of that, all they talked about today was slurry. With all that, let's answer some questions that you guys have had and that Giants were able to answer in today's live stream. So first, will there be more character customization? Yes, Farming Simulator 22 will be improved and is much better than FS19. There is way more versatility and customization for ladies and gentlemen, and there will be many more options, though they did not go into detail on what these will be. Next, will there be better sorting for mods on the Mod Hub? Yes, there will be better sorting of mods and equipment in the store and on the Mod Hub. There will also be starter packs for those of you that aren't sure what to use for equipment. So if you're into arable land, you'll get everything that you need for planting and harvesting, some tractors, all the tools, and a combine. If you're into running a farm focused on cows or doing other animals, you'll have a pack there as well. Cotton, trigger cane, whatever you're into, there'll be a starter pack for you guys. This is gonna make New Farmer much easier and kinda cool. But the biggest question, can you turn off seasons? Well, the answer given yesterday was not really, but yeah, kinda. But today they said that yes, definitely, you will be able to turn off seasons. So seasons will not cycle through and it'll stay on summer forever. One of my favorites, can you change your license plate? And they said, yes, you could do whatever you want. Custom license plates are in boys, let's go. However, there's a profanity filter, so be nice. Hey DJ, are we getting any more lizard stuff? Well, yeah, there's still gonna be lizard stuff. Uh, they use the lizard brand when they need a piece of equipment that maybe doesn't exist or where they need to fill in blanks with certain machinery that maybe they don't have 100% this or that well hey lizard to the rescue one of the biggest features of farming simulator 19 landscaping hey is landscaping gonna be coming back to farm sim 22 absolutely landscaping tool will be back and better than ever and is going to be part of a new build mode which is going to be presented tomorrow at farmcon i'm real excited for that a question we get every day can consoles turn on hazard lights in the new game well there's actually no answer to this. There's no yes or no, or even a maybe, it's just open air. However, right now they are trying to get it to work. They say that the games, you know, Farm Sim 17 and 19 did not run smoothly when they tried this. So they're trying to sort it out for the next game. Might happen, it might not. Something I don't do a lot of, but a lot of you guys like it is logging. So is there gonna be any logging related chains for production? Yes, the sawmill will make boards and things like that, as well as a carpenter to sell goods to. Loggers are gonna find plenty to do with production chains in FS22. What about slots? Are there still gonna be slots on consoles? Yes, unfortunately. The limit is there so that you don't crash your game and burn your house down. You've seen me crash my game quite a few times on PC and it's never good and the room is burning up. Slot limit keeps you from doing that on consoles and going crazy. You don't want your brand new Xbox or PlayStation to catch on fire. This will go crazy. I actually don't even know if this will catch on fire. David, will this catch on fire? Yeah, Back to being normal. Is there anything that the new generation consoles will get that the old ones want? Well, no, not at all. 
all platforms will have the same game, no matter if you're playing on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, or Xbox One versus Series X, or an old PC versus a newer PC. They're all the same. The things that will change, however, are the graphics and how the game looks. The game is going to look much better on newer hardware, as you would expect, and the same with PCs as well. The better the PC, the better the game's going to look. A big problem that a lot of you guys have had is multiplayer syncing in Farm Sim 17 and 19. So, will multiplayer still sync in Farm Sim 22? Yes, you will have to synchronize your game with others in the session. Otherwise, everything's going to be way off and you're not going to enjoy what happens. This is just the way it is. It needs to be this way. You have to sync. However, they do say that it is much quicker and much better in Farming Simulator 22. In fact, noticeably different, noticeably quicker, and noticeably better. And lastly, something that excites me very much so is, will modders be able to make custom production chains for the game? Is Shaba going to keep doing what he's doing? I hope so. This feature was added to the game with modders in mind so that all platforms can enjoy the same cool new factories and productions once modders get their hands on them. I cannot wait to see what modders do with this. And that is it. That is all the big stuff that happened today at FarmCon 21. Day two was incredible and was everything that we wanted it to be. It was a good day, but there was much more than just happened in this video. It was a two hour live stream. I'm not gonna make a two hour video. For everything else that happened, check out the links in the description below and make sure you tune into the last day of FarmCon tomorrow. That's gonna be at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. UK time. I'll see you there. Farming Simulator 22 will be released on Monday, November 22nd, 2021 on PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, as well as Google Stadia. If you're on PC and want to pre-order the game now, check out the link in the description below and make sure you use code DJGOHAM. That link goes to help support the channel at no additional cost to you and 100% of the proceeds from Farming Simulator 22 pre-orders go back to giveaways so that if you can't get the game, you're still going to have a chance to get it from one of the giveaways. I want to make sure that everyone that wants to play this game is able to play it. I'm going to do everything I can. Thank you to everyone who has used that code so far. You guys are rock stars, man. And if you're in the States, you can pre-order the Collector's Edition on PC at Best Buy right now. I'll make sure to leave a link to that in the description below as well so that you can get the beacon. Oh, yeah. I want to thank one of my Discord members, Own Insanity, for letting me know you are an absolute legend. And for those of you out there, don't worry. I got one pre-ordered already. Maybe I'll actually use my beacons more now. <laughs> With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's recap video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you are new, and join the GoHam Fam channel members. Also, make sure your notification bells are on as well so that you never miss any future Farming Simulator 22 content and daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All be said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace. So let's introduce you to another engine. He is one of our US ambassadors. Usually getting up early and still always full of energy. Not sure what he's running on, but here's DJ Goham. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome to FarmCon 2021. This year, just like last year, is a little bit different since we're all having to watch from home. Since Farming Simulator 22 is releasing this year, you know this FarmCon is going to be crazy. I want to give a quick shout out to the Goham fam and all of you guys watching live right now. Farming Simulator is such a community-driven video game, and it is so exciting to have such a wonderful large community supporting the game. Without you guys, nothing that we do would be possible. So thank you. It sound right, boy.